Well, the most enviable slot of any conference, right? The last guy up, recognizing many of you have flights and other things to get on with here, but uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't take a few minutes first uh, to echo completely everything Jim said, but to reinforce that uh, the brain thrust, uh, the knowledge, the push behind all of this is indeed Jim, so I would ask that you join in a round of applause. And peace. As Jim's articulated, so many people to thank, uh, many of whom have already been mentioned, but uh, let me just add my voice to those thanks uh, to all of those that have made this brilliant conference happen, and, and to all of you that have traveled so far to be here. Uh, your presence speaks volumes to your commitment to the issues that have been discussed. It speaks volumes to the shared challenges we face, uh, but also a recognition of the opportunities ahead as we tackle all of those challenges. So, uh, I'm deeply appreciative to all of you for having taken the time, for having made the decision to come and be part uh, of this incredible three days. And uh, I hope that you will leave this conference uh, having taken lots from it professionally, hoping that you have had a personally positive experience here in Canada, the great na uh, maritime nation that we live in, uh, this great Navy town of Victoria. And, and my sales pitch would be when you go back home and share your experience um, they come back there next year and bring a friend, bring a few friends, uh, so that we can continue this dialogue uh, moving forward. Uh, if I could take just a couple of minutes and refresh us on the journey that we've traveled over the last few days, and uh, an interesting journey it's been, and hopefully enjoyable in every respect. Of course, uh, soon after arrival, you had the opportunity uh, to meet and interact with the great sailors. Uh, that I get the privilege to work with each and every day and that through your day sail in Vancouver and I hope right from the forefront uh, getting out there on the water reminded you of what it was uh, we were all here to talk about and in that also a reminder of those great men and women that voluntarily go to sea and do the nation's business and you all have those same folks in your countries around the world and so I, I hope that that uh, was an enjoyable experience for you. Uh, you also had the opportunity to uh, uh, interact with those that enable those sailors, uh, the civilian workforces, the corporations, and all the other entities uh, that allow us to all do our nation's business. Um, and from there, we gathered in the conference room uh, for what has been, I think, a series of incredible discussions uh, in which uh, our common understandings on the issues that was advanced uh, our perspectives were shared uh, and our options for moving forward uh, were debated and, and all of that uh, is obviously helpful uh, as we move forward in this maritime century that we are all living in. Some of the highlights of which there are many. Of course the opening panel on aircraft carriers that clearly demonstrated that despite their costs and the ever-changing naval environment that we're in uh, and the challenges that come with that uh, that the carrier is here to stay and will likely continue to play an important role in the business that we do. A brilliant presentation on our Brazilian colleagues' movements forward with their Navy. And a special thanks uh, to Commander Cananes for uh, his very insightful presentation uh, and his commentary on the very important initiatives, including the Blue Amazon, uh, that are moving forward. Uh, the panel on illegal activities at sea reminded us that the international security environment is increasingly characterized by non-traditional security threats. And Vice Admiral Will showed us that where there's a will, there's a way, and that the drug smugglers will find that way. And we've all seen that over the recent years. And of course, we all enjoyed uh, the incredible banquet and the very insightful comments by the first Sea Lord, that was Mark Stano, the head of the one of the most storied navies the Earth has ever seen. And uh, we'll see in a few years' time from now if his forecast was true. But it was a, a great presentation. And of course, uh, however that future that the first Sea Lord attempted to define actually plays out, uh, unmanned vehicles will undoubtedly play a large part in that conversation. And as we've discussed here, we've begun to grasp the larger legal, ethical, and operational issues that come with drones, thanks to our panelists, but the evolving tension between man and machine is not easily resolved, as it was discussed, and something that we must all continue to debate into the future. And of course, last, but certainly not least, was our shipbuilding panel that we just finished. And as our speakers rightly noted, shipbuilding 
To say it mildly, it's a highly complex endeavor with a host of unavoidable political, fiscal, and technological considerations. Even with these challenges, however, we must move ahead. As the maritime century demands that the navies represented in this room, over 21, and across the world be prepared to address the maritime security challenges that earlier speakers outlined so brilliantly. So given the enormous learning potential achieved by sharing our insights, information, and expertise on the various panel topics, a word opportunities could arguably be added to the title of this conference, a word that has come up many times. More important, however, are the opportunities we have had to develop and build upon what I trust are meaningful maritime relationships. It's in our best interest, as we all understand, and the interests of our governments and fellow citizens to provide a stable, secure, and productive maritime environment, one in which we can all play a role to ensure the well-being of successive generations. The relationships have traditionally been at the heart of the seafaring fraternity, and now, more than ever, enhancing these relationships across the various communities with the state and the maritime security are not only of national, but international importance. And again, as I've watched the three days unfold and seen the business cards exchanged and the conversations in the margin, which are so important, uh, I think those relationships remain alive and well. But I'm also mindful, having just got off, uh, got on a plane here a few months ago, uh, after nine months in Kabul, uh, where the bullets were flying and action was every day, uh, that it's a warfighting business we're in. And the role we're in is to ensure that those folks we spoke about, and Admiral Kelly referred to this a number of times, the war fighter, those that are out there on watch today while we're here discussing the issues of the future, that if we're going to put them out there at the point of the spear, that we set them up for success should we call on them to do what it is we're ultimately here to do. Mindful always of those that have done it before us. Mindful always of those that have fallen, our veterans, our ill and injured, and something that we're always mindful of is the families at home. And as we know, all those great sailors out there on the seas today, they volunteer to do what they do. And we do it with pride because of the love we have for our nations. But we're also mindful that our families, they didn't always volunteer, but they served too. And so we should always remember that in all of our discussions. It's been an incredible privilege and honor uh, to have you here from our pack to have played a role in this conference. And again, I thank Jim, I thank Admiral Pyle, and I thank our friends at Royal Roads and APCSS, and everyone else that has made this conference successful. The next step in the maritime conversation, a conversation that we must continue, and we look forward to continuing next year. And again, I extend an invite to all of you, please come back, please bring a friend, and please let us know how we did so that we can continue to make this conference a meaningful event for you and a meaningful event for our navies and for our nations. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much. Safe travels to you all, and all the best to you in the future. Thank you.